recently returned to us from their East Coast escape. It can only be Colin and Jessica. All right, you two are here to boost our moods, and trust me, we need it. So we are talking escapism in design, and I think it's always a good time of year to talk about that. But it's also smart to talk about that with you two because you escaped yeah, we to did. Cape Breton we did. to have a whole new life. We did. And then we, you disappeared for a while. So please tell me everything that's been happening <laughs> with the hotel. Okay, so we disappeared off to Cape Breton at the yeah. start of the pandemic when everybody said, don't open anything to do with hospitality. <laughs> we found this cliffside resort. Uh, we renamed it North Star and we yeah. opened it up and it's been an amazing challenge Tracy but it came at a point in our life when we wanted something new we wanted yeah. to continue doing everything we do in Toronto and Britain but we needed something that revved us up and gave us a kick in the butt yeah. something brand new and yeah. the busting tables every morning at breakfast was that thing I didn't know it was going to be the hard on hands exactly right. you know you watch those programs don't you like escape to the chateau my life in the country yeah. and it looks amazing you think okay I want to be that person no one tells you that in the first year you're going and it hit by a hurricane. Hurricane oh. Fiona came to our door. Yeah. And, uh, you know, us being city boys, we were like, oh, I know what we'll do when there's a hurricane on the doorstep. Let's stay in the beach house and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so then the building next to us actually got picked up by the hurricane, thrown over the building that we were sleeping in, oh my bounced gosh. off the ground, smashed into a thousand pieces, and looked like a total debris field. So the next day, when we finally got out, we were just like, oh, we're going to die. You know those horror yes, movies that you watch and you think, that can't even be real. Those effects are too dramatic. Yeah. When we lived through Hurricane Fiona Tracy, it was little short of terrifying. We yeah. had 25 foot waves lapping up over our house. Mm. We had 100 miles per hour gusts of wind. And it was, and that was just, just that was just my little <laughs> <exactly laughs> problem. It was terrifying. Yeah. But it was somehow, you know, we, we lived through it and we thought, you know, if we can face off against that, yeah. we can deal with anything. I feel like there's nothing more humbling than understanding Understanding the significance of nature yeah. and we don't get it until we get jarred like that. I love oh. nature in spite of what it did to me. Right? In spite you're of what it still did to me. here and yeah. you're still thriving and by yeah. the way the hotel is still going to be open when it's open in the season. It that is. is open. It's summer? Yep. Yeah. That's summer, what, fall? We had to have a season four. but we couldn't have done yeah. a full year-round hotel. We needed yeah. to keep a hold of our urban existence. So yeah, we're May to October yeah. um, and a whole lot of fun in between those months. It's still <laughs> book because they, they apparently they do all the jobs. So we do. <laughs> we're very hands Check on. you in, take your luggage to your room. Your time is not working, I'm up in five minutes. <laughs> Let me unplug that <laughs> U-Bend, I've got you covered. Very good. Yeah. So now we're gonna escape a little bit into a dining mm. space. And I think some of this is also mm. uh, reminiscent of your hotel. Mm. It really is. So busy. you've gone with sort of this, this, uh, this kind of style it's gorgeous, it's calming, it feels escape. Let's start with the beautiful walls, okay, shall you we? Know what, Tracy, at the end of the day, we wanted something that was kind of redolent of the ocean, but without being right. hokey, navy blue and white, tiddly on pom pom. Yeah. Which, as, which is what we say in Britain when we talk about the seaside. Yeah. <laughs> so we wanted something that was more seafoam, bluey green, and the mood yeah. that we wanted to create was this. So we have this dining room for, you know, like 80 people as one of the restaurants in our hotel. And this is exactly the mood. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's all been put together without breaking the bank with our eye on creativity and the ambition being for people to feel really. Really relaxed as soon as they walk in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, two great colours there. Woodlawn Blue on the wall and Chantilly Lace, which is our go-to white, both from Benjamin Moore. Mm -hmm. And as Justin said, you know, they give us this aquatic look without being too obvious. Right. And texture, I think, is really important. You know, we're trying to make this rewarding. And you hear people talking about that in decor and you think, well, why? And it's because wellness should come from your personal space. Mm. It should be rewarding to you. It shouldn't be boring. Mm -hmm. So this is all about trying to make a space rewarding. A texture is one of the ways to do it. So yeah. we went to the Home Depot Canada yeah. and we got some beadboard because that is just so oceanic. It really makes you feel that you're in a coastal home. Yeah. You know, it'd be great if you were doing a feature wall, you could do one piece. And the amazing cheat that you can do on this is that you take your measurements into the Home Depot, you give them to the chaps and chapesses in there, they uh -huh. cut all the pieces for you. You just, and we mapped them out on the floor, measured them all out. So you were a nuisance Perfect. is what you're saying. We are. Uh, you no, know, I was a good customer. <laughs> we were, just, good we customer. were too indeficient. If you've not got yeah. the kit at home, if there's a solution, Tracy, to allow you to problem solve. Do, the, do it, lean on them, because yeah, exactly. they're pros. Building on the texture thing as well, being yeah. boys who have our lovely existence in Toronto, we're, we're near the, the side of the, the lake, so we went right down to Humber Bay, yeah. and we harvested a whole load of driftwood. Now, we call it environmental care. We're actually tidying up. Anything above 
the high water Talk about do it yourself. Today. You went we, and gathered that? We went down there and we hunter gathered that and we had okay. fabulous <laughs> walking out with those big logs over our shoulder. We even found a bale, you know, the stuff that's down there is amazing if you want to look. We yeah. found a bale of old kind of, I don't know, it's fallen off a boat or something, lovely old ropes. So we grabbed that nice. and we've put it together in there. And I think that texture, like the, the wood, the details, all of the stuff, do you know, you've got a vase with flowers in it, stick in a bit of driftwood, do something lovely. that takes your project to the next the next level. Yeah, and brings that sort of hint of natural rustic to it. I rustic. love that. Oh, rustic. I can't roll rustic. My heart rustic. To do it like that. <laughs> exactly. Okay, moving all the way down now. Let's talk about this gorgeous floor. So rustic doesn't have to be rough. You right. know, you can get the look of rustic. So yeah. we've used Cardine here. And Cardine is this incredible sophisticated vinyl plank floor. Okay. And yeah. Because, you know, think linoleum 2.3050. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really up there and it comes in plank form so you actually can lay it the way you would a timber floor yeah and what I would say with that if you're going to do this open up six boxes at the same time and scatter them around so you actually mix and match the oh, patterns and the colors that's smart. because you don't want uniformity it's got to look as natural as possible mm -hmm. uh, the great thing about this particular flooring is that carnadine is super super thin so it's terrible really really tiny yeah. so you don't have to take your doors off and plane them down you don't have to worry about taking off skirting boards either mm -hmm. you can lay this on top of a flat floor there and because it's vinyl it's great for uh, changing temperatures so maybe in yeah. the basement you might want to use it there or somewhere where you might have a lot of moisture like a laundry room this would be amazing we have this in our dining room at the hotel because we have heavy traffic mm -hmm. and it's been amazing and if you're scottish and always minding the pennies yeah. this stuff's portable so when you leave your home and move to a new place you can whip that up you can Take box it, it away and because it's so micro thin yeah it's yours to you take away. You would take the floor. Well, it depends, <laughs> what, you, floor. It depends what your contract is with your buyer. <laughs> they want that floor and you still love that floor. Then take that baby up, scrape it in the back of your truck and off you Super go. Super low maintenance. Why yeah, not? Totally. Right? This is the great kind of thing even to put down if you're a renter and 100%. you need it to be temporary. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now, also comfy cozy okay. with the furniture. I mean, this is lovely to have in a dining space. You eat and you just roll over you under do. the couch, <laughs> right? Do you know, dining's changed love so it. much. You know, the formality of dining, I, I, I see that disappearing. Yeah. And I see a Casual. big return to family style. We that in restaurants mm -hmm. where food is served for sharing it's all about engaging with your people yeah and I think in the home context why not have a sofa there now if you're a big long leggy stick insect like Heidi Klum yeah. you can go in there and you'll be exactly the right height yeah if you're a slightly shorter person <laughs> than that supermodel then you can buy a longer leg for your sofa yeah. to make sure that when you're there and it's no longer about the formality directly at the table curl up in there your big bowl of pasta you're watching oh, the, yeah. the young and the restless and the old and the gormless oh, and you're getting yeah. chowed into your <laughs> <laughs> lovely dinner. Mm -hmm. It's all about being cozy. And I think, Tracy, that's what this room does. It engages the mind and it tells it to be really comfortable, to distract from all the pressures of our fast spinning world. Yeah. We've had it with the pandemic. Yeah. Do we not want a new start, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Do we not want the way forward? Exactly. Beach is where you're and at. You and you don't have to break the bank. You know, the pieces here were all from IKEA. Good. So you can get them yeah. across Canada. Very nice. I love all of the hints. Uh, I love you. the tray tables. I love the whole thing. The you lot. did a great job. Thank you for that, Colin and Jazz.